Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? Yeah, what I said yesterday was I feel like we're better than what we played yesterday. And I definitely believe that. That wasn't our best game. So we're capable of more than that. We've got to you know, work to do better than that. This is Bill Belichick after the Patriots went and got absolutely shellacked uh, this past Sunday uh, by the Dallas Cowboys, 38-3. to It's left uh, New England searching uh, a bit here. As they're 1-3. Uh, they're 0-2 at home, by the way, as well. Uh, Saints at two and two go to New England this week. Um, for what it's worth, of course, Mac Jones was benched on on Sunday. Belichick has continued to say that Mac would be the starting quarterback. Although when Belichick met with reporters on Monday, he was asked if Bailey Zappi, the backup who replaced Mac Jones a year ago when he was injured, could get first team reps this week. Here's what Belichick said. Yeah, I doubt if anything would change, you know, significantly, but we'll talk about that. I mean, I don't know. We haven't got to that point yet. Okay, so Mac Jones, who is not having a stellar start to this season, uh, he's thrown for 898 yards, five touchdowns, and four interceptions. And as we mentioned, the Patriots are just one in three right now, uh, losing to Dallas. Uh, their only win was the 15-10 to 10 win at the Jets a week ago. And it's not been easy for for New England, obviously. They, they lost a close game to Philadelphia and then lost by a touchdown to Miami. So three of their first four games have been against the Eagles, the Dolphins, and the Cowboys. Their one win was at the Jets. So it's it's been a tough schedule for New England. And again, their first two losses, they lost 25-20 to the Eagles and or to the uh, yeah, to the Eagles and then 24-17 to Miami. Maybe the greatest compliment is they held Miami to 24 points. So yes, the one and three record doesn't look good, but the Patriots maybe aren't that far away. Um tough ask for New Orleans with its offensive struggles to go on the road against a little bit of a desperate New England team. Uh New England is a one and a half point favorite in this ball game. But um, for New Orleans, maybe the Saints got uh, a little bit of good news, and it does come at the expense of, of uh, some pretty dynamic players for the Patriots, which you never want to see injuries. But um, after the Monday night football game, when Matthew Judon left the game with injury, Bill Belichick was sort of noncommittal about both Judon and Christian Gonzalez, their, their starting cornerback, who, uh, who had a shoulder injury in the ball game. But what we've learned now today on Tuesday, and this per Adam Schefter earlier, uh, he, I'll read the tweet for you. Uh, Patriots standout pass rusher Matthew Judon will undergo surgery on his torn bicep Wednesday. He wants to try to come back to play again this year, but there are questions about whether he can or will. Either way, he's out indefinitely. So New England now hosts New Orleans without Matthew Judon, who is their best defensive player. Judon had a career-high 15 and a half sacks a year ago and for a defense that at times hasn't been great this year, and certainly they, they were pretty poor this past weekend against Dallas, now they're going to be without their best linebacker, edge rusher, and Matthew Judon, and also Christian Gonzalez, uh, their starting cornerback. He left the game with a uh, shoulder injury and is also expected to be sidelined indefinitely with a torn labrum. So best pass rusher, starting cornerback, out, for New England indefinitely, so neither Judon or Gonzalez will play against the Saints this weekend. You know, the Patriots' defense right now is allowing 24.3 points per game. That's 21st in the NFL. So it's that's atypical for a Bill Belichick team to have a defense that's rated that poorly. The flip side of it is the Saints' offense is scoring 15 a game, and they're 25th in the NFL. So you have a really bad Saints' offense against a struggling Patriots' defense. Something has to give this weekend in, in New Orleans. Either the Saints break through offensively against a defense that's really struggling and now without its best defensive player and one of its starting cornerbacks, or New England finds its footing a little bit against a Saints offense that has just really struggled to get going at all. Um, it, for whatever it's worth in this series, uh, New England, they, the two teams have played 15 times all time in their history. New England 10-5 and five against the Saints. The last time, though, the Saints went to New England was back in 2021, and the Saints dominated the Patriots, if you remember that game. 28-13 uh, was the final. 
but the Patriots got their only touchdown with about five minutes to play in the ball game. So this uh, um, Malcolm Jenkins had a pick six in that game. The Saints really dominated. That was whenever they had the hot start with Jameis Winston when they started five and two before Jameis had the torn ACL in the game against the Bucks on Halloween. It was a late September game when the Saints went up to New England. So um, a little bit of a similar spot on the calendar with the Saints going to New England and New England post Tom Brady is still finding its way uh, a bit. But um, they'll have to do it this weekend against New Orleans without Matthew Judon and without Christian Gonzalez. So at this point, the Saints will take whatever good news that they can get. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.